Hey guys, I'm back with another video today. So today we're going to be doing a quick little project. We're going to be uh, building a fire with flint and steel, and then we will uh, make some more char cloth. So first things first, uh, I got some jute twine here, different sizes, that uh, needs to be processed. So I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of know how to do that. It's not very difficult. You just kind of take it apart a little bit. You just kind of want to rough it up. And you want to rough it up. The, better, the more, the better. You want to get... You see how it's already starting to kind of rough up? Then what we'll do is we'll get some small sticks and we'll get this fire going. So I'm going to get this stuff processed and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's been a little while. I've uh, prepped the tinder bundle up a little bit. It still needs a little bit more work, but we're going to get to the next project next, which is I need to sharpen. you just seen that, that uh, tinder bundle set up, but now we need to sharpen up this hatchet a little bit. So, it is, can you guys see me? Let me adjust the camera guys, sorry. So, you guys can't see me that well, but you can see the hatchet, so. It is decently sharp, but it needs to be sharpened up a little bit more. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this file, and we're just going to go along the edge, because we wanna sharpen this thing up. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do this. The sharpening stones. But since I'm at my house right now, I will just use this file. Okay, so now I just gotta do the other side. This is just a cheap hatchet from Harbor Freight. Hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good. Anyway, this is just a cheap hatchet from Harbor Freight. Has a few upgrades done. I've uh, it's it's kind of nasty on the edge if you guys can see that. Uh, that's just because we had it soaking in some oil to help make the part right here stick in better, so the head won't fall off the handle. So now that we got that sharpened up a bit, we just need to process a little bit of firewood. So. When you do this, uh, make sure you cut in a safe direction and you have some eye protection on. So, we're going to, you guys still see that? We just want to, to uh, cut down some of these a little bit better. You guys, here, sorry guys, let me uh, adjust you a little bit better. We want to raise the camera up. Actually, we'll just move the camera back. There we go, guys. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I'm just getting back into that filming, so we need to uh, get used to it again. So be careful when you do this. And we won't need that much wood. And once you're down to something like this, we will split it a couple times. And then guys, now that we got a pretty good little pile here, we need, um, yeah. So now we got a decent little pile here. We need to get some logs that are a little bit smaller that way, when we do this flint and steel fire, uh, we have some smaller sticks put on there. And then also, we'll make a few feather sticks, some shavings. We might even use the knife a little bit since this isn't that sharp. But, let's, uh, well, actually, we'll put that hatchet in there like that. Let me gather a little sticks that I got going. 
got a decent little pile, guys. Just process a little bit more of this wood up. You guys still see this? Hopefully. So, if you guys have any things you would like to see us a little bit more bushcrafty or things like that, leave that in the comments. I'll, if I know how to do it, I'll do it. And if I don't know how to do it, I'll research it a little bit more. That way we can, uh, you guys can get some good videos. I got a few more ideas, things you guys want to see. So, yeah. So, now that we got that, I'm going to just make some fine shavings. I'm not the best at making feather sticks and shavings, but these should do. Let me. Yeah, like that, guys. Those should do. So, now we got our little pile of sticks. Let's move over to our little campfire area. Put these over here and I'll bring you guys over. So. So today's a little bit windier. Uh, I've not started a full scale flint and steel fire for a little while, guys. Sorry, I'm still picking some stuff up. But I figured, why not? I mean, I need more char cloth. I'll bring you guys along. So, yeah. So basically, I'm gonna fix the tripod up real quick, guys. Sorry if uh, the camera moves, but. So basically, for you guys that don't know what char cloth is, or this is your first video watching on how to make char cloth, is char cloth is basically a charred material. They'll catch a smaller uh, or uh, not as hot spark. Uh, mountain men used it. Front uh, frontiers men, all pioneers came over. Uh, that was one of the methods and uh, most reliable methods in the time area too start fires. So I got a little kit here, just an Altoids tin. That's uh, what I usually use. And when you make a tin, a lot of people use Altoids tins just because they're small and simple, but you need to poke some holes in the top. You guys might, yeah, you guys can see a little bit of lighting through there, I think. Uh, you want to poke some holes in the top, that way the gases come through. And when you build this, it's making the so there's not enough oxygen there to burn, but there's still enough to char. Okay? So, then we got the flint and the steel right there. And this is what char cloth looks like. Uh, this is just a piece of cotton jeans. But you also can make it out of sticks and stuff, so we might try doing a little bit of that today, too. I don't have that much of this left over. That's why I decided I wanted to make more with you guys. So... It's best to do this on coal, so we'll get that fire going with the flint and steel, and then we'll make a little bit more. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, ba I'm back. I just grabbed our little tinder bundle that I showed you earlier, and I'm going to grab a piece of my char cloth, and then I'm going to angle you guys down a little bit. That way you can see what I'm doing. So I got this right here. Sorry, guys, I'm filming by myself, so the quality might not be as good. So... I like to use a little roughed up edge on my char cloth because surface area is what you want when you're building fires. So we'll set it up like this right here. And look at that. So we got our little ember going right there. Put it inside of our uh, little cinder bundle right there. And then let me raise the camera back up, guys. You just blow into it. OK. 
Okay guys, got that going. So now we're gonna set this down. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. And then now, we need to put our small sticks on there. Like this, guys. Hopefully we can get this going in the first try. Try to get some of these smaller sticks right here going. That's not good for you to break things on your knees, but sometimes you got to do that type of thing. Okay, we get the flint and steel out of there before things get too bad. So we got that fire going, guys. Now. Some things you want to keep in mind is you want to have some water nearby. So while this is getting going, I'm going to go over there, grab a little bit, so we can, you know, make sure we have some in case of an emergency. So you guys watch the fire. Okay guys, so I got a hose over here just in case. So now that we got the... I'll let you guys look at that fire. So today we will be using a... Instead of some cotton jeans, we'll just be using a little old cotton t-shirt. So when you do this, you want to make sure that whatever you're using is cotton. And we don't want this fire to get too big. But... I'll... Uh, get this cotton t-shirt up here guys let me adjust the camera pull out the good a little Swiss Army knife right here and we will just cut right there and we should just be able to pull a chunk off yeah like that so this is just a old shirt guys and you'll just get some small chunks to put in your tin so like this right here this is going to be too big. You want chunks? Probably about that size. So, I'm going to angle you guys down at the fire. And then I will continue getting this stuff up. Stay back. Leave it, Daisy. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, well, you guys have been watching the file the whole time. You guys probably heard me. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to put your cloth material inside your little uh, tin. Right? And you don't want too much in there, but you can have a little bit. Okay? Then, 
you just put the little lid on top like that. Let me zoom you guys out. Like that, and then you just bring it around and put it down there in the fire. So, you're going to want to make sure you got a way to get it out, guys, because you don't want to... You don't want to leave it... You don't want to touch the hot metal after you've, you know, dealt with it and stuff. And now the tin's in there, we're good to go. And it doesn't really take that long either to get things out, so we're going to be good. We'll uh, move some of these little embers on over. So you, you don't want to, you can have a bigger fire, but I usually don't have that much of a bigger fire just because there's really no need to do it. You guys want to be careful when you do this, obviously, but you guys can see that down there. I think fire is just one of the best things to watch. It's just so neat to, you know, have something like this to, as a tool, you, you don't really want to be playing around with it because it is a tool. Bring some of these up and around, you know. We'll add some smaller things now. You don't want anything too big. So, we'll set up a little bit of a wind barrier down here, guys, for safety reasons. Seems to be working a little bit better. Daisy, leave it. Leave it. And dogs are out here playing around with us too. She's getting into some of my things. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I mean, it takes a good bit of effort to make them. But this is going to be the first video on the new editing software I got. So hopefully it's a little bit of a better quality. Daisy, no. Leave it. Daisy, no. It is possible to burn your char cloth, so you do want to watch it pretty carefully. And what you're watching for is uh, there'll be like a smoke or a, a little bit of a flame coming out of the holes you made. And you want to watch that because if it gets too big, then you'll burn it. So, so actually. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but there is a little bit of a flame coming out of the tin, which is what you want. Let me see if I can zoom into it. I don't know. Sometimes some of these things are... That's not the actual flame coming out of there, but... Sometimes these things aren't always the best for filming. Actually, guys, I'll get the camera... Well, nah. You guys can see pretty good from where it's at. If you guys got any questions, you guys can leave a comment, and I'll... 
if I can answer it, I'll try to answer it. If you guys want to see something specific, you guys can ask for that too, and I'll see if I can do that. But, yeah, guys, I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, I'm doing this in my backyard just because I'm not on a trip right now, but I still do want to make a video for you guys. And this will either be the first video out, or there'll be more videos out after this, like, slingshot stuff, too. Because I'm not getting away from the slingshots at all. It's just, you know... Uh, so, actually, guys, that stopped burning down there, so... Actually, no, it didn't. We'll le let it go for a little bit longer. The fire's starting to calm down, which is okay, because you don't need something to... Uh, you don't you don't want a giant fire, usually, because then it becomes an issue. But also, guys, this charcoal, after it, uh... After it all cools down, you can use that for different... Oh, sorry, just bumped the camera. But after that goes out, you can, uh do tons of stuff with that too. So we're actually going to take that. Usually what I do is I'll move the tin to the side and uh, that way it will cool down a little bit because you do not want to touch a hot tin like that. It's not a good idea guys, trust me on that one. Okay guys, so I'm back. I just went and got my so we'll let that cool down. little right cook cup and uh, some water, and we're going to uh, boil it up. Rinse this out real quick, guys. And we'll let this boil up and, you know... Actually, move some of this up and out of the way. Coals are. What do you want to cook with? I mean, this stuff is pretty hot, guys. As you guys can see. Get some of this going again. Got a little bit of ash in the cup, but you know that's okay. So, yeah, we'll see if we can get that cup to a boil without adding any more wood, because I don't really want to add any more at this point. But, we'll use up what we got here. And guys, look at that. I just uh, took the lid off the char cloth and it made up it made it up pretty good. Sorry guys, just want to get that fire going, but the thing is it's not that hot anymore. I'll zoom out. But that's basically what it looks like when you're done. This looks like a pretty good little batch, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty good little batch, guys. So, I'll let the tin finish cooling off before I put it away. And, uh, yeah. Keep that little fire going. Still trying to boil that up. There we go. Bring some around over here too. Let's 
it's pretty it's a pretty simple little process guys I mean it doesn't it's not that hard to do something like this this is good for <coughs> sorry guys This is a good little project to do with the the scouts and stuff like that. Uh, making something like this, it's useful. It's just good for carrying around for your survival kit or just when you're camping too. As you can see, I just put the fire out. I mean, didn't really need it anymore. It. You know, I didn't feel like setting it up, but the water in the cup is pretty warm. Let me get you guys set up. So, let's do a little quick taste test. Make sure the cup isn't too hot, because that sucks. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not, it's not boiling hot, but it's not cold either. So, it's, you know, it's pretty good. But also, guys... I'll show you guys this again, but this is what we just made. Some more of this char cloth right here, like that. So we're actually going to take a piece. We're going to see if we can get a fire going with it. Well, not a fire. We're just going to see if we can get it to spark. Because I usually do it with a denim jean, but this is just an old cotton shirt. So set you guys up here. Daisy, no! We'll see if we can get this stuff to light. I don't want to waste that much of it, so I'm only going to use a little bit right here. Let's actually get you guys set up. Yeah, it goes. There you go, guys. Got an ember. little ember right there. Ow, it's actually starting to burn. Just put it out there in that little fire pit. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all guys. I mean, got my hot water, made some char cloth. It was a pretty good day. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, please put that in the comment section below. If you guys got any tips too, that'd be nice. You guys could put that down there too. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave the video a thumbs up and share with your friends. And until next time, guys, bye.